happy with our effort. We guard them pretty well. Obviously, uh, normally when you hold a team to 38 percent shooting and beat them by 18 on the on the glass, that's a that's a formula for victory. So, uh, but, but Delaware made free throws. Uh, you know, a lot of them, uh, more than we would have liked to have seen them take. So, I uh, can't change that. But I'm happy with that guy's effort. Uh, Obviously, Chris had a, has played great as of late, and then, you know, Rob today, I think, showed why, uh, you know, we felt he was as good as any post guy in the league. Uh, obviously, some of the coaches and media didn't, but uh, obviously he showed that today. You don't get 27 and 20 on this type of stage, and Rob has a, a bright future ahead of him. Last minute, you know, uh, you see it coming down. It's real slow, actually. Some people say it's fast, but it's real slow. And you just see it winding down, knowing that there's nothing you can do to keep your head up. I know as a senior, the younger guys are watching. I always keep my head up. We knew that it was going to be a dogfight today just for the simple fact of not only for the way that they played us uh, the first two times, and it's very difficult to beat a team three times, but the way that you know, Pat has had those guys playing all year long, uh, despite their record, they've, you wouldn't know uh, what their record was by the way that they play. So a lot of credit goes to uh, Towson and Pat Scurry. Ultimately, we had to win games. Uh, we did not win enough of them this year. Um, but as I told our guys, you know, uh, we, we faced adversity. Adversity reveals character. I think some of our guys have grown through that. And we have gotten better uh, throughout the course of the season. We really have. We're a team that lost to a uh, Division II team in the exhibition season. We've come a long way since then. We had a young team. And um, the guys that we have coming back next year, we're excited. We're going to no days off. We're just going to get right in the gym and start working and getting ready for next year. We want to come back stronger, better in every aspect of the game. The younger guys, I think, have realized that they really have to listen to coach. They, they really have to understand the concept of guarding and defending for 20, for 40 minutes. Um, it's unfortunate that it took them this long to understand that, but uh, I think that they're better prepared for next year, definitely. We've got to get better at every area basketball-wise, and we've got to add guys, and we'll certainly miss Rob. There's, make no mistake about that. It's very difficult to replace a guy like that. But hopefully there's a, somewhat of a foundation laid about just w w what the expectations are and how hard you have to work on a daily basis.